Hey guys, Laura Jezef here. Just so you know, well, is it a little weird that I'm in the bathroom? It might be echoey. It's just really good light and I don't get double chins. We'll try it. I'll open the window a little. It might be less echoey. Anyway, today I'm talking about keto diet because I keep getting asked these questions about whether, what I think of it. So I tried it for a week. Now the idea behind keto is that you have about 75 to 80% of your diet being fat and then 10, 15% protein and then minimal, minimal carbs. So I did that, I did it for a week, maybe a bit longer, and I actually felt amazing and I enjoyed the cooking process and I was having like eggs and like fat on bacon and pork, like all the crackling and all the stuff that we are told not to have, have the low fat stuff, um, cut off all of the fat, um, all of this stuff. I think I got something in IT from my smoothie, sorry. So I loved it. I even had like beef dripping and lard and everything whacked on. It tasted really good. And I was not hungry. I was having like two meals a day and they were high fat stuff and I wasn't hungry. And I noticed, actually I didn't notice, when it came to my period, normally I have like a build up of those three days before. If anyone's experienced this, you feel like shit and you ache and you have bad mood swings. I didn't even realize my period came on. That was how, how I'd, I'd never thought that my body was inflamed because I'm pretty healthy generally, but it must have been inflamed because compared to when I was on the keto diet, felt like nothing, it was great. But then after the keto diet, I got ill. So I couldn't carry on. I needed to actually have some energy so I was actually craving carbohydrates. So, Back to keto. Keto, I recommend to some people who have got digestion issues and they're trying to heal their gut. But, 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 it might not suit everybody. So just try it and notice what you notice, you know? Because high fat diets, good quality fats, are like avocados, olive oil, um, proper butter grass-fed beef, proper butter, local butter, 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 eggs, um, all of this goodness stuff uh, helps heal the gut lining generally for some people with their digestion. So try it, see if it works for you and notice what you notice. But the thing I found hard with keto is to stick to it and also it, the lack of vegetables and fruits. Now I can't get my head around the fact that you don't eat fruit or barely any vegetables like to me that's not um a long-term thing and it is still a diet you know so that's feedback from me 